All right, folks. I've got some signs to drop. Yeah. Apparently, the Big Bang was followed by chaos. Yeah, it was. See, because banging is like sex, so the Big Bang is like group sex, and... You just don't get it, do you? You know what? Science Daily says that memory problems can be more common in men. What? Mild cognitive impairment, or MCI, is a condition in which people have problems with memory and thinking beyond that explained by the normal rate of aging. MCI was 1.5 times higher in men compared to women. Psst. This is a stupid article and the writer has a dumb face. Doesn't even say what MCI is. <laughs> in other news, cockroach brains kill bacteria. <laughs> brains. Some dude called Simon Lee identified up to nine different molecules in the insect tissues that were toxic to bacteria. These substances could lead to novel treatments for multi-drug resistant bacterial infections. I've got a novel treatment that involves insects. <laughs> Nobel Prize Committee, I'm waiting for your call. In this article called Why Wartime Wrecks Are Slicking Time Bombs, they say that more and more ships from World War II are leaking oil, and that peak leak is coming soon. More than three quarters of the wrecks in the sea got there during World War II, containing between 2.5 and 20 million tonnes of oil. <laughs> this is outrageous. Yeah! This is an affront. <laughs> this kind of crap is exactly what is wrong with the world. <laughs> I mean, come on! Slicking time bombs? <laughs> what? Peak leak? Seriously? Uh, honestly though, that is pretty atrocious and it just goes to show yet another way that war bloody sucks. Balls. And finally, there's a study that shows that losing weight could pollute your blood. What? Extreme weight loss could potentially lead to cancer. Oh my god! Diets cause cancer! <laughs> <laughs> According to an article in New Scientist, losing weight causes your body to release persistent organic pollutants, or POPs, which come from pesticides and such. POPs normally gather harmlessly in your fat, but when released into the blood, it could possibly, maybe, lead to diabetes, cancer, and dementia. However, we don't know. <laughs> we don't. <laughs> we don't know how much you need in your blood to make it dangerous. So people shouldn't freak out about trying to lose weight. And, you know, there's always liposuction. Come here. Come here. What? Oh, no, no, get away from me! I'll put links to all the articles downstairs. Better now.